Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs and welcome to the neighborhood. I'm so excited about today's project because we are using Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Fabric. We're the exclusive licensee. We've worked with the Fred Rogers Company to bring you beautiful fabrics that represent him not only on his TV show, but the wonderful man that he was. So this is an exclusive quilt kit that we have designed that's available now. And we also have some fun coordinating fabrics. We have Polaroid images of him on set. I love this. Putting on his sweater with his fun little puppets. And it describes the person that he was. He was reflective, inclusive, positive, kind, and caring. All wonderful things that we love about Mr. Rogers. I think my favorite print, though, is the word print with all of his special quotes. We all know this one. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. And how about you make each day a special day by just being you. The last one I'm going to share is anything worthwhile certainly takes a while. And we have a worthwhile project for you to make. It might take you a little while. But we think it's so cute and fun. It goes along with the quilt kit. It'll give you instructions of how to create these two house blocks, as well as the tree block, as well as assembly instructions of how to put together this cushion. So let's move this out of the way and get started. So you've got your two house blocks. What's kind of fun about this bigger block is it looks a little bit like a school. So this would be a fun project for kids going back to school to put on your bench to celebrate that time of kids going to school. And now you're going to put your three blocks together to make one long unit. So first I'm going to start with this tree block in the middle. I'm going to flip it over right sides together just like that. I'm going to get my pins out. Let's pin the two sides. You're going to want to make sure you have an accurate fourth inch seam allowance. So let's take it to the machine and sew. All right, now that we've sewn that, let's give it a nice press. doesn't really matter which side you press your seams to, but just press them to one side or the other. I'm pressing them towards the tree. Okay, take your other block, flip it over, right sides together. Give it a quick pin. Okay, so. Okay, we've got our center unit all finished. Now let's add borders. So we've got this fun green border from the collection that looks like grass on the bottom. So we're going to add that to the bottom. Just going to put this on the same time, my top border. Just going to flip it over. Okay, let's sew our top and bottom border. OK, 
Okay, give your top and bottom border a nice press. I like to use my clapper as I'm going along with the borders to just kind of give those crisp seams. They, it flattens them. Again, a clapper absorbs the heat and the moisture and gives you better results in your seams. It's coming together. You just need to add the two side borders. And if you're being really official, you should honestly find the center of your border and find the center of your fabric. But it's such a small project, you don't really need to do that. In the center, there we go. My um, outside border is just slightly longer, so give it a little tug and pin it in the middle between your middle pin right there. Looking good. Let's just give it a quick press. Okay, there is the top of our cushion. It's all finished. Now let's add the back. You can use any fun print you want. I just love these Polaroids of Mr. Rogers. And to make, to finish your cushion, you're gonna put this on your, your little quilt top, your little cushion top, and pin your all four sides. So a reminder when you're sewing this to leave a three inch opening. Don't sew it all the way closed. Okay, we have sewn all four sides. And now I'm just gonna trim off my corners. And I've left a three inch opening to turn it right side out. Okay, find my opening. I always go for the farthest corner to turn right side out. Okay, now that that's turned right side out, I'm gonna use this stiletto to po poke out my corners. Be careful not to poke through the fabric. Okay, there's all our four corners. Now, since it's an odd shape, there's no pillow forms to fit this, we are going to use our polyfill and stuff our giant pillow, our cushion, just a little bit at a time. So that took a lot of polyfill, but it's worth it. It looks so great as it comes together. Just kind of give it a little pounce at the end. And the last thing we need to do is whip stitch our opening closed. So make sure that your two ends are rolled under a fourth an inch. And you're gonna 
use your thread. Oops, hide your knot inside. And let's just whip stitch. Okay, knot off your stitches and hide them in your pillow cushion. Let's just cut that off. And your bench cushion is finished. It's been such a privilege to work on this fabric collection and this project honoring Mr. Rogers. He's such a beloved figure. So if you're here, we're really glad you're part of Riley Blake Designs neighborhood.